step. I'm live here at the Muses Parade. I caught up with Fantasy Williams director, Mr. Dedrick Jones. How you doing today, sir? I'm living, baby. Living, having fun out here. By I the see. Kids, by the kids. I totally agree with you. Now, I witnessed your band at the middle school battle of the bands uh, a couple of months ago, right? Yes. Nice sound. This is a legendary middle school program in New Orleans. So tell us how long you've been here and tell us how does it feel to be the band director here and how have these kids influenced your life? Man, yeah, uh, it's my fifth year here. Um, my main thing is keep it clean, keep it classy, stand out. You know, you got to stand out. If they're doing it this way, you do it that way. And with the kids, I tell them, you're a middle school band, but you don't have to play like a middle school band. Right. Set yourself above. So that's what we do. And we bring it every time. Okay. Bring it every time. How have these kids influenced your life? Like, we know what you give the kids. You give them guidance, you give them leadership, you teach them music. What do the kids teach you? Patience. You gotta have patience. If I ain't have patience, I'd have fell out by now, babe. But I love the kids, man. I, I, I treat them like they're my own kids. Mm -hmm. Each kid have a the individual story. Right. You just got to relate to it. And once they know you relate to them and they can come to you about anything, you got them forever. And that's what it's about. All right. So I would like you also to give us your band facts. Let us know where you played, what schools you went to, and how did you arrive at this journey to become band director of Fantasy Williams? Gotcha. You can start from high school on up. Well, you can start from elementary school if you had a horn in your hand. It's up to you. I started at Green. Samuel James Green. Uh -huh. Played mellophone, trumpet. Went to L.C. Fauché. Continued on. And believe it or not, I went to Tulane. I didn't, I didn't even march in college. I wound up choosing Tulane um, because it was much more of a mix of like strong academics and a fun environment than a lot of other schools I looked at. <laughs> I went to Tulane, but you know, once you have it, you have it. You, have it, right. you know what I'm saying? And I actually looked up. I actually started as an assistant, mm -hmm. and some things happened, and I was bumped up, and I've been rolling ever since. All right. Yes, sir. So, final question. What's the most historic band battle you've ever witnessed, been a part of, either as a director or as a student? Fosse versus John Mack, 1995. Crab, yeah. That was it for me. As a player. And as the director, we had a lot of them. <laughs> we had a lot of them, but full shift versus John Mack, that was that rivalry. So, I'm always remember that. All right. Thank you for being a guest on Where's Hemp, brother. Thank, Thank you for your time. You, my brother, I appreciate you. Ain't no problem. Thank you.